This is part three of the Lewitton LT898 UV dual band mobile transceiver. In this video I will show you some menu items and how to manually program a simplex frequency for amateur radio use. I've been putting this radio through some field and personal testing and I gotta say that I'm impressed by the reliability and ease of operation so far. I've never had a micro transceiver before this one and I've taken quite a liking to the small form factor style. At this point in time I give it five stars. This radio is available on Amazon by the way. I wanted to mention a few menu items that might be of interest. Some of the ones I address here can be programmed onto the P1, P2, and P3 front radio panel buttons. One common one that I like is the key press beep tones, menu number four. You will always know when you've initiated an action and when it has gotten entered or saved. This can easily be turned off if you're a person who likes it quiet. The FM radio is a great feature. This is commercial FM from 87.5 to 108 megahertz. This is turned on with menu number 12 and this is one that is also programmable onto the P1, P2, or P3 buttons. Menu 30 is high low power which is also a very good one to have on the P1, P2, and P3 buttons for quick access. High power is 10 watts, low power is 4 watts you can quickly toggle back and forth between these two settings. Menu number 32 is one that you will want to pay attention to and make sure is off. This is called Roger or Roger Beep. It sends an audible beep tone or tones at the end of your transmission when you unkey the mic. There are no hams who I've known in four states that like nor appreciate the Roger Beep including myself, although some local repeaters that I use have it turned on, but it's kind of rare. Um, it's a feature found mostly in two-way commercial, public, and police radio service, and I'm willing to bet it bugs some of them too. The idea behind it is to let the non-technical radio using person who's talking with you know when you've finished speaking and then they can respond. It's not popular on amateur VHF or UHF bands and I've heard people get asked if they would turn theirs off. Besides, hams generally know how to speak on the air without such assistance. We're special like that. <laughs> uh, on to simplex manual programming. The menu, the menu steps and menu numbers are exactly the same as for repeater programming other than setting different values. So again, your starting point is to get into frequency VF mode by pressing C on the keypad to get to the B screen on the display. The active frequency will be at the bottom in the larger font. So let me do that. I'm going to hit C. I'm now in B mode on the screen with the larger numbers on the bottom which are the active frequencies. Now I'm going to hit B on the keypad which takes me out of channel mode into frequency mode or VFO mode. Uh, I'm going to be using the national simplex calling frequency of 146.52 megahertz for this example. So I would type in 146.520 on the keypad 146.520 Next, uh, menu item number five, channel save. I am going to assign this frequency to channel 14. So get to menu five by pressing M, menu, and I'm already on menu five. I must have been there before. So hit it again. It's on 13 and we want 14, so I'm just going to go up one from the keypad microphone hitting pound to 14. 014 and that is going to be the 014 uh, or 14 channel for this frequency. 
That's set. Even though this timed out, it's set. Or is it? Maybe you better check that. <laughs> no, okay. It wasn't set. Okay, channel 14. Now hit M for memory to save it or enter it. Now it is saved. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to set is menu number 8, which is decode type. So, back to M, menu, up to 8. That's decode type. Decode type on this for simplex will stay on off. So, it is already on off. I'm going to leave it there. And we're done with that. And by default, menu item number 9 is already going to be set to off. So we can skip that in this case. Next is going to be menu item 10. I'll use channel plus this time to go up to 10. Okay, this is encode type. Uh, there won't be any encoding for simplex and so I'm going to have to turn this off because it is on CTC. So down to off, hit menu to save it. That's done. Uh, menu 11 will also be set to the same parameters because the 10 and 11 are tied together. Oh, let me see if I can show you that. Menu 10, okay, I've already set it for off. Okay, go up to menu 11 and it won't do anything. That's because it's already set to off by default. Uh, the next item is menu 34. Okay. Repeater set. Now, since it's simplex, there is no repeater set for this, and it will stay at all zeros, uh, which I already have it for, but if you needed to, if it wasn't, and you needed to change it, just on the keypad, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, hit M for save, and that's set. Um, Menu 35 will follow in suit for the same reasons as the previous menus, but I'll just show you. This is a repeater type where you would be setting um, plus or minus offset, but simplex has no offset, so I need to change that to off or to simplex. In this case, on the radio, simplex is called SING, which is single. I want to lock that in on M menu and we're done. Uh, I plan to add another video after this one showing more details. Thanks for watching.